Today, we're diving into something that might seem small at first glance, but could have a big impact on your Samsung experience. I'm talking about a little change coming in the One UI 7.0 update, something as simple as the redesign of the battery indicator in the status bar. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can a tiny battery icon make a difference? Stick around and I'll explain why this change is more significant than it seems. To really understand why this small change matters, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. Samsung's software has come a long way, starting from the days of TouchWiz to the more refined One UI we have today. One UI was introduced to make Samsung's interface more user-friendly, focusing on ease of use and visual appeal. But despite all the changes over the years, one thing has stayed almost the same, the battery indicator in the status bar. The current battery indicator isn't just any icon. It's been a staple of Samsung's UI for nearly a decade. It's been around since the days of TouchWiz Nature UI 3.0, which launched with the Galaxy S5 in 2014. That's right, this little battery icon has been with us for 10 years and it hasn't changed much during that time. If you've been using Samsung phones for a while, you might not even notice it anymore. The icon is a simple, vertically aligned battery shape, usually in a single color, with a little thunderbolt on top when the phone is charging. Before 2014, it had a multicolored design with a green interior and a white outline, but that's about as wild as it got. Over the years, the corners of the icon became slightly rounder, but that's pretty much it. Now let's talk about the change that's coming. According to some leaked screenshots, Samsung is planning to replace the old battery icon with a new pill-shaped design in One UI 7.0. At first glance, it might not seem like a big deal. After all, it's just an icon, right? But when you think about how long the old design has been around, this new look starts to feel more important. Why is Samsung changing something that has worked for so long? And why now? These are the questions that make this seemingly small change so interesting. The new pill shaped design might not dramatically alter your day-to-day -day experience, but it does signal something bigger. Samsung is willing to shake things up and bring something fresh to the table, even if it's something as simple as a battery icon. So why should we care about this redesign? Well, for one, it shows that Samsung is paying attention to the details. The company could have easily kept the same old battery icon for another few years, and most of us probably wouldn't have noticed. But by choosing to update it, Samsung is showing that it's committed to making even the smallest aspects of the user interface feel new and modern. This change could also be a sign that Samsung is putting more effort into the overall design of One UI 7.0. Rumors have been swirling that this update will bring significant changes to the look and feel of Samsung's Android skin. If the redesign of the battery indicator is any indication, we might be in inflation it looks like Samsung is ready to innovate and push the boundaries of what we expect from our smartphones. I'm looking forward to seeing what else One UI 7.0 will bring. What about you? Do you think this change is a big deal or are you indifferent? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're as excited as I am about the upcoming update, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos covering all things Samsung. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. The Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go 25 
complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Geely smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.